Oops, wrong way. <laughs> Hello, everybody, it's me again, and welcome back to Syndicate Shenanigans, part number 25. This may or may not be the last Syndicate Shenanigans episode in Autumn of Terror London before we head back to 1868 Industrial Revolution London. Uh, we have five more of these side quest type things to do. Uh, and then I've got a bunch of collectibles, but I won't bore you guys with that. I'll do that off camera. So we might be able to crank all five of these out in one episode, or I might split it into two. Only time will tell, but we're gonna start off with a cargo hijack right here. There's a lot of you. Alright, I has plan. I has plan! Dang, I'm too high. Dude. Is it possible to do an aerial attack with a spike? I seem to remember hearing that that's possible. No, I can't frighten them. Not with, not with the big guy there. Shoot. Okay, hold on. Just go ahead and drop that. Get down. Sir. You! Not you! Now you! Or not. Okay. <laughs> Everything went better than expected. I'm stuck on a dead body. Okay. Oh, see, now they're getting anxious because the frightened guy ran by. GIVE ME YOUR COURAGE! If you think you're gonna take that, that's very funny. But okay. I have the carriage! I'm going to back out now. And GTFO, potentially. Okay. There we go. These things do not turn very well because <laughs> they're so freaking heavy. All right! I'm in the clear! I'm almost Enough. there! I used this mine in a video already. Alright! We made it! That went smoothly. I'm now stuck between a carriage and a hard place. Otherwise known as a second carriage. Hey! Cargo hijack complete! Next reward, the sensor. Hmm, interesting. The sensor. It's, just, it's from a newspaper guy. It's a pair of brass knuckles. I get it. Very clever. Okay, well we're up in Whitechapel now. So we can head to the Walk of Shame. I've only other ever done one of those on camera so far. And it's the only one I've done. So let's go ahead and knock that out right now, shall we? Let's clear out Whitechapel. Immediately. Oh, 1191. Altair Ibn Ahad becomes the mentor of the Levantine Brotherhood and ushers in many reforms. Yeah, he did. Oh, man, that guy had a tough life. But, oh. Adding the memories into Revelations was a phenomenal idea. I loved that. Those are my favorite parts of the game, the Altair memories. Those were amazing. I need to go east. I thought you said west. Whoa, 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 excuse me, gentlemen. Hey, stop it. Yep, it is indeed. Don't pick fights over stupid stuff. Get over your differences. Okay, walk of shame. Here we go. These actually kind of take a while. So, this is a repressive and puritanical era. Okay, prostitutes are thought of as shameful sinners whom the rest of society prefers to ignore, except for the men who take advantage of them. I haven't even freaking touched you yet. Uh, there's a whole host of miscreants mistreating these desperate women in the deadly maze of Whitechapel. Teach them a lesson they won't soon forget. I would love to! Septa Unella? Is that the shame woman? Whoa! Hey! 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 Stop it! If you don't mind, I need to go chase a gentleman, please. I could have kidnapped him right then and there, but I had people behind me, so I thought to play it safe. Got them out of the way quickly, I just gotta chase him for a little bit. Look at you being all fancy. Where do you get? Stay! Well, I deal with your friend. He's not staying. Get! And he's still running. Okay. Nope. You come here! Um, excuse me? 
Ex what? Get the fuck! Come here! Shit! Okay, we're gonna shame the fuck out of this guy. I just invited this unfortunate to tea. That's... Let's see how the people of London judge your acts. Uh oh, you're somebody I'm not friends with. Shit! Oh. A cup of tea. That's very funny. She doesn't come up here, does she? No, good. Whatever you want. Face your eyes, humiliate this man for he deserves it. I feel like a Master Dean <laughs> from the first game. No noise, just walk. He's just publicly shaming people before he murders them. The harlot! The thief! The gambler! The heretic! Who was an assassin? Go back to where you come from, you slumming bastard! Sounds good to me. I know that game way too well. That the replay I did was my ninth playthrough of that game, so I have like everything memorized. Indeed it is. Well uh oh. Oh no! <sighs> Alright, I want to get to this crowd. This is gonna be tight, though. Especially if that guy comes this way. Shit. Fuck. Shit. Fuck. Shit. Fuck. <gasps> oh, God. Oh, God. No. 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 Oh, my goodness. That was close. <laughs> there we go. There's another group over there. Okay. Here we go. I'm about to fill up my bar, I think. One or two more should do it. Oh no, and now I'm in trouble. Yeah! Come here, you! Um, excuse me? What do you- What do you want from me, game? I'm mashing the B button even after I'm- Give him to me! It's not letting me take him. I'm hitting B. Oh, it's because you're here. No, don't beat him up! Well, now he's gonna fight me to the death! You! What is going on here?! Thank you, Jesus! Alright, where am I trying to get to? Over there, okay. Leaving now. Hello, Nelly, I have another delivery for you. For the waste receptacle. Douchewad. Oi! What kind of man gets his jollies hurting a defenseless girl? Gets his jollies? That's a nice way to put it. Don't tell my wife! Oh, so oh. now you're sorry, eh? Don't you ever lay a hand on one of us girls again. We know who you are. You fucked up, son! Well done, Nelly! You tell him off. Okay. That was the last walk of shame, I believe. Unless there's one more. Let me see. So we only have three things left. We have a slow carriage escape, Jack the Ripper's letter, and we have a lost woman. Okay, and then there's a bunch of collectibles, but again, I'll get that off camera. Oh, uh, you know what? The lost, no. This is closest to a viewpoint. A slow carriage escape. So let's go ahead and do that. Some believe there's a connection between the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn and the Templar Order. Really? All these things they're telling us! Are those hints to future games or lore pieces or something? Oh, come on. They have to be. Some of those are really interesting, like that one. The Golden Dawn? Are you kidding me? Oh, gosh! Did you see how close her head is to that ledge? That is terrifying! Editing Nation, can you back that up and slow it down so you can see just how close it is? No, I'm good, thank you. Okay. John Pizer. 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 <laughs> John. You fucking bitches. Okay, I can still read it from here. Whatever, I'll say here. John Pizer, also known as Leather Apron, has a reputation for terrifying prostitutes in Whitechapel, hmm. and has already been- you guys suck. Has already been arrested and convicted for injuring a person with a knife. Really? Hmm. 
He makes a great suspect in the Ripper case. You guys are such bitches. A great suspect in the Ripper case, but his guilt remains to be proven. Bring him to Inspe Inspector Abilene for questioning. Okay, I'll do that! As soon as your cock-sucking bodyguards leave me alone so I can read the goddamn synopsis. Okay. Get in the carriage, sir! Do you wanna get in the carriage? Okay, he's in. Thank you for your assistance. I can't reach my neighbors will hang me if they find out I have anything to do with river murders. Well, I'm sure more than your friends will hang you if that's the case. Don't let them hurt me. I'm innocent. Well, that that's not exactly true. Jesus! You're just gonna you're just gonna sit there now. You're not gonna move. And now these people are in the way. Out of the way! I'll just go around. Okay, there we go. Come on. Convicted of injuring someone with a knife, huh? Is this is the other instance where I don't feel too badly for these for these people getting harassed. But he harassed prostitutes, terrified prostitutes, and was convicted of injuring somebody with a knife. That is a major red flag. Oh no! Oh dear. Okay, well let's just keep going. Calm down, horsey. Smoke bombs behind us now. I am a shadow in the afternoon. Staying under tail. Oh, God. Okay. There's a lot of traffic here. Let me just squeeze in, please. Turn my blinker on. Okay. Slowing down. Okay. God damn it. Threading the needle. Uh, oh shit. Okay. It's alright. I'm undetected still. It's fine. One little sliver will do no harm. Oh, There's another flaming carriage. God. Go Holy my god! What the heck happened here? Come on. Dearie me. Okay, I'll just keep going. What you think. Sure hope That's not, it. buddy. Sure hope not. And done! Here you are, Freddy! Thank you, Miss Fry. No problem. You saved the suspect's life. And no doubt the lives of many of my constables. Crap. Stay my blade from the flesh of innocent. No way to prove my innocence if it weren't for you, miss. And unfortunately, that includes the innocent until proven guilty. <laughs> A mistake made in Assassin's Creed Revelations. That pistol looked amazing, by the way. And I want to look at it. Like, right now. Insidious pistol. That thing looked insidious indeed. Okay, well, shoot. I guess I can't do it from the carriage. So let me just go ahead and get off. Take a look at my new weapon. Insidious. Look at that thing! <gasps> it looks so cool. Size doesn't matter. <laughs> Coming from a man that seems quite hypocritical. Let me go ahead and upgrade. It's only 2,000. Yeah! Okay. It's not the best pistol. My Templar shootout one was even better. I wish you could see my dog right now. She's flinching. She's dreaming. Her paws are moving. Stella. Stella. Hello. What kind of dream was that? There's a lost woman. And there's one last letter. I think we should save the letter for last, don't you think? So I'll fast travel here. I believe... Wait, what building is that? That is... That's the Royal Exchange. Yeah, okay. Oh, shit! How many How many episodes is this? This is 25? Right? So, this is... We have four episodes in the Jack the Ripper DLC. I felt bad when I did Unity shenanigans, because I only did one episode in the Dead Kings DLC for shenanigans, and uh, I did the rest off camera. <laughs> and I felt really bad, because some of those missions were actually really interesting. So, uh... Yeah, I did feel kind of bad. So, more episode, more DLC episodes this year. Yay. Okay. Ooh, there's two chests. One in front of me, one behind me. One to the west and one to the east. When the sun rises in the west and sets in the east, and the seas run dry and the mountains blow in the wind like leaves, then you shall return to me, my grasshopper. 
Nelly, you have another missing woman. Thank God you're here. I know, right? I'm great. Nobody is going to stop running away. I'm trying to read the thing. Thank God you're here. Nobody's going to suspect the gentlemen who inhabit the city of London of making prostitutes disappear. A kidnapping ring is procuring women for the wealthy to do with as they please. Oh my god. Don't let them get away with it. I won't. Speaking of watchdogs. Before me eyes, Miss Evie. Please help. She just wants to live like the rest of us poor dollies. I'll find her. I promise. It's one of the many carriages. Which one is it? I have to get pretty freaking. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna scare the shit out of everybody. They might drive away, actually. But, uh, I'm gonna take that chance. Yep, they took off. <laughs> they drove away. I think I messed up. <laughs> Damn it! I forgot the smoke bomb scared them. Yeah, it's gone, isn't it? Yeah. Let me go back and try that again. <laughs> God, the screams. Blood curdling. Jesus. I can't tell who's in which carriage. I have to inspect all of them? Why well, can Brutal take down the brute from here without a smoke bomb? Right? Okay, this is really annoying me. How come I can't get the guy who's directly below me? There we go! They're gonna take off again. Damn it! I keep trying to be cool! No, come back! Move! Oh, this is so stressful! Jump! Yeah, got it! Well, it didn't even have a driver. Jesus. Okay. Escaping! Damn it! Damn it! Whoop, whoop, whoop! Okay, hold on. Stop it! Stop screaming! You're breaking the game! You know, if you'd stop screaming, they'd probably not be able to follow me as easily. One shot on the horse! Okay, I escaped. Whoa, roll there. Stop the what the fuck? <laughs> Did you say that? Well, okay, she seems to be alright now. But that was weird. Okay. Alright, you're safe, my lady. No one's going you're to hurt me. you. I would dead and forgotten if not for you, miss. Whoa. I've nothing to give you but me thanks. I mean, I get you're a dolly. But you don't need to throw yourself at me. Goodness. Kiss the hand, that's funny. That's a very pretty one, but I like the blue one. Okay, there we go. That was all lost women complete. Now, we must do the final Dear Boss Jack the Ripper letter. Oh, and they don't really tell us what the letter is, so you know what? Let's open up the database real quick and read the Dear Oh wait, no, I did read the Dear Boss one, did I not? Miscellaneous. Oh, poop. We read From Hell and we read Saucy Jack, which were the ones the missions were based around. So this one, received on September 27th, 1888. We're nine days away from that right now. At the Central News Agency, this letter was originally believed to be just another hoax. Three days later, the double murder of Stride and Eddowes made them, Elizabeth Stride and Catherine Eddowes, made them reconsider, especially once they learned a portion of the latter's earlobe was found cut off from the body, eerily reminiscent of a promise made within the letter. The police deemed the Dear Boss letter important enough to reproduce in newspapers and post bills of the time, hoping someone would recognize the handwriting. A postcard received at the Central News Agency on October 1st, mark making direct reference to both the murders and the Dear Boss letter, is believed to have been written by the same hand. It is reproduced below. Whether or not the letter is a hoax, it is the first written reference which uses the name Jack the Ripper in reference to the Whitechapel murderer transcription. Dear boss, I keep on hearing that the police have caught me, but they won't fix me just yet. I have laughed when they look so clever and talk about being on the right track. That joke about Leather Apron gave me real fits. Leather Apron, the guy we just saved. And I shan't quit ripping them until I do get buckled. You're not going to read the whole thing? Dear boss. 
I guess not. Oh, and I guess part of this letter was found in... Was it in Jacob's apartment when he went missing? I think he already... Grand work the last job was. I gave the lady no time to squeal. How can they catch me now? I love my work and want to start again. You will soon hear of me with my funny little games. I saved some of the proper Grand red stuff in a... All right, now you talk. Thank you. No time to squeal. I saved some of the proper red stuff in a ginger beer bottle over the last job to write with it. But it went thick like glue, and I can't use it. Red ink is fit enough, I hope. Ah. It's creepy. Should I give you another two minutes to <laughs> muster up to keep going? Or should I just read over you? The next job I do, I shall clip the lady's ears off and send you and send to the police officers just for jolly. Wouldn't you keep this letter back till I do a bit more work, then give it out straight? My knife's so nice and sharp, I want to get to work right away. Jack the Ripper. Don't mind me giving the What? You skipped over that paragraph! Wasn't good enough to post this before I got all the red ink off me hands. Curse it. No luck yet. They say I'm a doctor now. <laughs> I guess they're one of their suspects was a doctor. You skipped over part of that, dude. Right in here. Hello, Mr. Weaversbrook. How you doing? Miss this Brown, is it. This is the last a mission. A new letter has arrived to fan the flames of hysteria, which have seen this the world's first yeah, you said this slip already. into primeval barbarity. You must make sure this author will not act. I'll do my best. I'm going over there. Pardon me, bobbies. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're stocking nut jobs. Yeah. Nope! Don't worry about me! Aha! Master escape! Okay, I, I almost hit the button because I'm so damn stupid. I wanna do it so badly! But no, let's just keep our eyes on him. Keep pace. Ooh, sudden right turn! That's really thrown me! I like this music, it's very creepy. I guess I never knew how much of a soft spot I had for string instruments. <laughs> Cello, violin. Oh man. Alright, where are you going now? Hit. Rabbit. Rabbit. Oh, that might have been a mistake. Time to go back. You're stopping there on the pier, aren't you? There he goes. All right then, I'm done. Now I have to frighten him. You, this is a bit difficult. Darn it. Uh, I'm thinking. Sorry. Fuck it. Oop. Nope. You can throw it now, Evie. I throw it. Thank you! Jesus! I mashed right trigger like 17 times! Yeah! There we go. Now we're done. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna throw you in the fucking river. Why? How? Why on earth would you think that would help? You clearly- look at him sneaking up behind me with a knife. <laughs> oh goodness gracious. Even new turn around! Get him! That's what you get for trying to kill me! Sneak up on me with a knife. That just happens to be my specialty. I've adopted Jack the Ripper's accent all of a sudden. But alright, that is the final mission for the Jack the Ripper DLC. Is that a Bobby? It is. I was about to go murder him, but nope. Okay, but that's it. All I have left are a couple of collectibles, which I will- a couple of collectibles. Oh my goodness. But I will get those off camera. So we've done all of the side quests. We've done all of the- I won't name them because whatever. I'm just delaying the inevitable. The inevitable- inevitable- being the end of this episode and the end of our time. 
in the Jack the Ripper DLC. Finally. We finally returned to the DLC and we've finally done all the side quests. Haven't 100%ed it yet, but I will take care of that off camera. And the next time you see me in Syndicate Shenanigans, we will be back with a much younger Jacob and Evie Fry in Industrial Revolution London. So, I hope you guys enjoyed our time in the Jack the Ripper DLC, and I hope you guys are enjoying my Syndicate Shenanigans series. Like and favorite if you are, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in my next video.